everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Aurora and this is Drawsome. So today's topic, I, I'm, I looked at it and went, why? Why, why are we, and if Jen, if you can <laughs> remind me why we're drawing these, that would be amazing because I can't remember, but we're drawing clams. <laughs> yeah, clams. You know, those things that live in the ocean, have a shell, you pop them open and fry them and yeah you can eat them uh if you're into seafood um and I'm going to be using I'm gonna you know draw a pencil but I'm gonna I'm gonna bust out these Faber Castell pit pens they got a brush nib on them um I know that Jen uses a lot of them she has like every color known to man um this is all I have <laughs> this is it but um a lot of the colors are perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and use these when we're done sketching and yeah so that's what we're doing we're doing clams and you know I was looking at pictures of clams and was like hmm this doesn't look like it's gonna be that hard but then I tried it on a separate piece of paper and was like <laughs> they're harder than you think so I chose a picture I don't have it up or anything like that it was it's just in my mind but um trying to explain how to draw one is a little different because they have a small nose like this is just the shell and they're, they're kind of triangle shaped but then this part is round the bottom part of the triangle is rounded like that and then this part actually comes like Almost like a Hershey Kiss kind of shape. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, yeah. This is a clam show. And then you can, like, draw a double line here so you can see that it's a clam. But what's interesting about clams is they've got these really cool patterns. The shell has like striations, kind of like a nail, like a file. I'm going to shade that in so you can see that that's the bottom of it. is it for a clam pretty simple so yeah there's a clam and I mean you can shade it and, and all that kind of good stuff and make it really look very realistic if you wanted to So I'm just going to fill the page with clams. I used to know this really funny joke about a fish. He was, he was an okay fish. He was, you know, Doing his thing, hanging out in the ocean. He was he had friends. And one day he heard that his Fred his friend, uh, Sam, had died. So he uh you know, he was kind of upset about that. And then one day he saw this hook and like a dumb fish he took the bait and he got fried up well 
Fred the fish ended up going to hell. And when he got there, he was just stunned. He, he was like, what am I doing here? I was a good fish. And then all of a sudden he heard a familiar voice. Fred, where have you been? I, it's so good to see you, buddy. And he looks up and there's Sam. Sam the Clam. And he was like, Sam, what are you doing here? He goes, well, you know, things happen in life. And uh, this is where I ended up. But it's okay. Everything's great. I got my own nightclub down here. It was party all the time. And Fred was just astonished. He was, you know, kind of taken aback a little. He was like, really, is it that good? He goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, I've, I've got it great. He's like, oh, okay, well, that's that's good. And Sam looks at him. He's like, you know, Fred, I, th I, I think maybe you don't really belong here. And Fred was like, well, you seem to have it really good. And Sam was like, yeah, yeah. He goes, but if you look at yourself, you know, you've got wings and a halo and you really don't belong here. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. I better, I better get back to where I, I'm supposed to be. He's like, yeah, it was good seeing you, buddy. Yeah, it was good seeing you, too. And just as they said that, Fred the Fish, poof, disappeared, and he went, he's, he's up in heaven where he belongs. And he's standing in front of Peter, St. Peter, and he's like, well, how, how, he goes, I'm so sorry about the mix-up. He's like, yeah, you weren't supposed to be there, but, you know, we got you back here. Everything's good. He goes, oh, yeah. He goes, oh, Peter, can you send me back? Peter looks at me. He's like, why would you want to do that, Fred? He goes, I forgot my harp in Sam the Clam's disco. I'll just leave that joke there, like a little hand grenade joke. And I'm going to get on to uh, finishing drawing these and coloring them in.
clams. There's the clams. There's a pile of clams on the beach, and this is what the inside of a clam shell looks like. So that's like the reverse side of the inside of one of these. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching this. <laughs> Never drawn a clam before, but here we go. So uh, yeah, I like these uh, these Faber Castell pit pens. I need to get some more colors of these because they really work cool. I like them. Thank you for turning them on to me. Uh, Jen, they're nice. I now understand why you like to use them so much. But, uh, yeah, speaking of Jen, go watch her video, because I can't wait to see what she come up with for clams. And, Jen, if you can remind me as to why we chose clams, that would be great. Because I don't remember. I didn't write anything down. So, uh, <laughs> as to our reasoning. But, uh, yeah, show me your clams. If you drew clams... Or you drew Sam Clams Disco. There's an idea. Uh, you can put your pictures up on your Instagram. Make sure you put the hashtag Awesome Squad so you can, we can go and see what you drew and possibly put it up on my video next week, just like Tara Corvus here. And yeah, we will see you next week on next week's Awesome. Love you, benches. Bye.